So here I am, just scrolling through all of the new anime for the season, and I come across one show which really just piques my interest, and it is called Onihei, which is a historical sentence set within Japanese history, so it's got samurai, and if this turns out to be really good, it's gonna be something I really love, because everything there is like right at my alley. Of course, there are also a few other anime this season which sound to be pretty cool, and I will be checking those out and making videos about those, but I gotta take care of Onihei first, because I'm mostly interested in this. There's two episodes out of this right now, and after watching the first two episodes, the story is basically about a man named Hasegawa, who is the head of an organization which is against arson, thievery, and supposedly other crimes as well, such as murder, which we see in the episodes, and sadly, uh, most of that I had to learn from reading the Wikipedia pages and other pages which contain descriptions of the show, because... From watching the first few episodes, the first two in fact, I couldn't tell you necessarily what the show was about or who the protagonist is because the first episode introduces us to a thief and Hasegawa is present there but he's only present for like parts of the second half of the episode and like he's in there for like parts of the first half as well but we really don't even see his face it's just like a shadow there and the second episode actually follows him and even though I know that sounds pretty confusing because normally you would be introduced to all the good stuff like that within the very first episode but uh, this actually is still pretty interesting despite that and I'm really curious to see like where it goes from here. Is it going to get back on track where it only follows the protagonist or is it going to follow a different character every single episode? From reading the descriptions and looking into the source material which uh, this is supposedly from, um, I have a feeling like it's mostly going to follow Hasegawa. So nonetheless, there's actually a reoccurring uh, theme that we see within the first and second episodes, and it basically goes into the lives of two different characters, and it shows someone who left a very strong positive impression on them uh, from earlier parts in their life, and it turns out that the person has changed due to the circumstances of their life and becomes someone who is a bit of a deplorable character. <laughs> actually deplorable character, and... Uh, they have to they have to do things in order to bring justice to these people basically so the first episode follows a thief and he goes through his past talking about how he became a thief and it turns out that like there's a big uh, murder like mass murder in the area along with thievery as well and it turns out like that this is it's his former master so he objects to that of course because he believes that his master is a honest person who follows a true thief following the three uh, basic rules of thievery, which is that you do not rape women, you do not steal from the poor, and you do not kill people, and this person was doing all of those things right there. So he thought it was an imposter, and he set out to actually find the person, turning out that it was actually his master, and he had to, uh, you know, I don't want to give away everything here, but, you know, he just had to deal with situations there. In the second episode here, it fo actually follows Hasegawa, and this was another really interesting episode because it goes into the past of how um, he was really inspired to pursue his swordsmanship and how he found a really good rival at a school and he practiced with this person a lot and they became really good friends. Uh, they were more like rival, they had a strong competition, so I guess they were just really competitive friends, but uh, nonetheless, they were actually chasing this woman. They both were in love with this woman, and they were telling each other, you better not get with her, and it turns out, like, in the present time, um, she had come across a few circumstances which we learned about that changed her character and sent her down the path of evil as well. So, it's definitely something that I find to be pretty interesting as far as the story goes. Uh, aside from just reading the description pages, which I don't want to go by that, um, still, I don't know the direction of the show, just, just from, like, checking out the context clues of actually watching the episodes, but it's still something that I would recommend, and that is something that is worth your time as of right now, but it could go really any direction after this. So I may continue making videos about this, we're just gonna have to wait and see how this turns out, but um, it's got a really beautiful atmosphere. Um, I love the animation and the character designs and everything like that. They put so much detail into this and also the fights were pretty enjoyable as well. Of course, I don't think it's the best that I've seen, but it was still something that was really enjoyable. I definitely recommend checking out Onihei. It's something that is a little bit different and 
Uh, I think it could go either way at this point. It definitely has potential, and I'll leave it at that. Check out Oni Hey, There's two episodes out as of right now. If you've seen any of this series, then let me know about that in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be checking out uh, some of the other new anime from this season as well. So I'll see you guys next time.